All 18 clubs, apart from Manchester City and Newcastle, have backed this proposal. It's all emerging through sources, nothing official, and it really was the result of an emergency meeting held on Monday by Premier League rivals of Newcastle to try to stymie their ability to draw on resources in Saudi Arabia to uh, particularly raise their revenue, because now they've got this sudden influx of cash after years of underachieving following this takeover two weeks ago. And vast investment is needed in the squad. It's currently in the relegation zone after losing to Tottenham on Sunday in the first game under the public investment fund uh, majority ownership. But there are Premier League financial fair player rules that mean they can only have losses of £105 million over three years under financial fair play before they can even consider potentially qualifying for Europe and then having to abide by UEFA's regulations. So one way of uh, inflating the revenue to be able to spend on players to improve the squad would be, of course, to attract new sponsors. And certainly we're seeing from other clubs in the Premier League that they think perhaps Newcastle might go and seek sponsorships from companies related to the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund, who now owns the club, and uh, try to maximise that sponsorship. And uh, that's something that has uh, not gone down well with other clubs. Manchester City, of course, owned by Abu Dhabi, have benefited for many years from uh, companies sponsoring them linked to the state there. And and uh, they insist those deals have been done at a fair value, as in normal market rates, and not in any way uh, inflated. And Rob, this isn't a new issue, so why has this vote happened now? Well, exactly so, because Premier League clubs have had a decade to grapple with this as they see Manchester City amass those sponsorships. The stadium is named after Etihad Airways, Etihad appears on the jerseys, and it's something that's been widely scrutinised. So. The focus will be on why those clubs have now not acted in, in the years after seeing City doing it, but only in the week or so after the completion of this protracted takeover by Saudi Arabia. And it really does signal the concerns of many of the clubs that this new financially strong uh, rival is starting to emerge. This takeover looked like it had stalled last year in the row over piracy linked to Saudi Arabia, those human rights issues which do linger, the concerns about Saudi Arabia. And um, it was only approved a couple of weeks ago with still many questions in terms of just what it took now for the Premier League to OK the deal. They say they have legally binding guarantees that the Saudi state isn't controlling Newcastle United, but the Public Investment Fund, which owns 80 percent of the club, well, its entire board virtually is Saudi ministers. It's chaired by the Saudi crime prince Mohammed bin Salman. And certainly even Jurgen Klopp, the Liverpool manager, has voiced the concerns perhaps experienced more widely over just why this takeover was approved, why those guarantees were needed. And uh, now we're seeing for the next few weeks the Premier League and its uh, clubs are going to be trying to construct these longer term regulations that could impede the ability of Newcastle. Well, not um, to get I, any have to, I have to leave it there, Rob, I'm afraid, because uh, we're running out of time, but uh, we'll be definitely watching this with interest over the next month. Thank you for joining us.